There we go. What's up, everybody? Whew. All right. I ate that food pretty fast, so hopefully I keep it down. That should be fast. Put that away. Put this away. This one. Hold on. 16, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, we're good. We got everything stuck to the plate. We are in business. Give me a second. Forgot to do something real quick. See that somebody wrote something. Um. <clears throat> I had to make sure I posted the best of them. All right. And Orion. Did you just spell lick in binary? Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. What the fuck? <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> lots of things have happened. Um, we got the base prints done yesterday, actually this morning at 6.30 in the morning. So we took the supports out. Um, we've got half, or I, don't know, I think it's gonna be like three build plates of stuff. So we've got I don't even know what we've got right now. Eight, sixteen, twenty-two items that are printing out right now. It's supposed to take like ten hours. So, but um, yeah, this is done. So I'm actually pretty happy, and it came out real nice. I'm really happy with this PLA filament. So, Arma three is tomorrow. So, but yeah. So that is Dunzo. We are. I am printing out the uh, the base four rings that are underneath it. Um, railings that are on the side. The uh, the place where the hammer goes, and then eight buttons. I'm gonna have to figure out where they go because instructions aren't clear on build. So. inventory real quick because I didn't have the last week. You're also working tomorrow? Why the hell are you working tomorrow? I do all of these skins. No, I do not have all of these skins. Just this one. I'm missing the shield. Okay, so we got one more to go. <clears throat> oh, over time. At least you get, at least, at least they pay you for it, so. So, can you come in? No. Do 
The only thing that got me to work for some like overtime is if they paid me <clears throat> or if it was a trade. Do that one. What else do we have? Actually, mm. there's like a mole spear gun. Could do the dagger. The dagger. Oh, but the sword. I don't know because once I get legendaries, that's that's all I want to really use anymore. So. the deck but um no I learned after one of the jobs that I held I learned real quick to don't actually make yourself available whenever they whenever you think they will like it um because then they'll continue to take advantage of you. They're like, can you come in or can you just cut? No, I got other shit to do. Um, I think that is this month. I think I read it. It's this month, um, because this month um, Warframe is also getting an update. So, and that I think is going to have what you're asking. Um, you know, I just realized that it doesn't matter what I get, it's just the skins are the same. Uh, okay, look at this. Because I need those balls of like energy. Uh, okay, let me check. The first two may update, let just do that. Uh, according to the wiki, uh, November 7th was update 1 through the veil for Secrets of the Obscure. Update 2 was February 27th. Um, update 3 is May 21st, give or take. So yeah, it is this month. And that is... Ooh, we may not have that because there's new weapon proficiency for each profession was an update 2. I'm not quite sure what what comes with it. Hmm. Anyway, I don't know, you have to log in and find out, I guess. Shit. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so for Secrets of the Obscure, major updates, you got one, two, and three. And it says that there was a fifth expansion pack, so Secrets of the Obscure was number four. So that means that they've got one to be released in 2024. So that's probably going to be like towards December, is going to be the next expansion. The fifth one, whatever comes after Secrets of the Obscure. Secrets of the 
Supposed to be released from late 2023 to mid 2024. Oh, okay. So yeah. So there's going to be another expansion that comes after that's going to be later on this year. That one might have your full rework for weapons. <laughs> from, from what my understanding is, is that they're doing this in batches, slow releases, slow updates to make sure they don't break anything, basically. Makes sense. I mean, that's how I would do it. I think in the end, they do want to have all professions have the ability to uh, to use all weapons. So, I mean, that's my understanding. Jesus. All right, let's go sell this stuff. Let's sell this. <clears throat> Where is it? I just said that the skin there is box skin. So there's that. So there's that. And I can use some of these consumables. Oh, it's for a dagger. Okay, well, we'll put this down here. We'll figure it out later. Because it doesn't really give me like, oh yeah, you have this. Oh, I can't deposit this? What? This? This salvage this? No. Let's see what that turns into. Oh man, okay, so we'll put this in here. Put one there, that there. Um I have to go and exchange those at some point. That in there, that there. Oh, we got fancy furniture for things. Look at that. Let's take a stack of those black line chests from selling them. Crap. All right, let's go see what we got. Um, what color are we? You're red. Jesus. MDK. MDK. Oh, hey, kitty, 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 kitty. Look, 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 It's done. Well, this part's done. Came out nice. It's a really good size, too. Right? So, but yeah, we're printing the next parts, the decorations. So, we've got to sand it a little bit on the top because that's where, you know, supports. So, yeah, so we're going to, I'm going to sand this and then I'm going to sand all the parts and we're going to do a dry fit 
And then we're gonna paint, and then we're gonna glue, and then we put it all together. So, it's a process. I mean, I'm documenting this in the uh, Crafting Corner channel on Discord, so... And we were able to save this. This is the part that was failing. So, we're gonna have to like do a little bit of cleanup because there's some hot glue in there, but... We might have to do a little bit of epoxy, I don't know. I don't know. But this barely fit on this small little printer. I'm proud. I'm proud that the printer was able to do it. Yeah, that sounds like a fun and fun activity. Not Um, in regards to, since you are here, in regards to the, uh, the BJD, um, after this gets done, the, the, the prints that's over here that's going on, um, I'm going to clear out the area. We need 50 centimeters, give or take, for the, what the fuck? 50 centimeters, give or take, to capture the uh, the the scan. We're going to use the, the 360, the Xbox 360 Connect, which apparently can do a real good job at finding the details on that. And we're going to scan that head. So, if you ever want to know what 50 centimeters looks like, just short of two foot. Anyway, things are getting done. Arts and crafts. Yeah, this is supposed to take ten hours, mostly for the um. Basically the hammer part, because we have to build it up. So it's some some material for the supports, but that's because you don't want it to to affect the outside look. Believe it or not, if they ever want to get into three D printing, I'm gonna be I'm gonna say my piece. Reality Zender, it's not that bad. I have yet to have any issues with it that you could not resolve. I know a lot of people in the 3D makerspace shit on this brand. I have yet to have an issue that I can't fix. So. I'm not going to say that part. Um, but if you do print on it, whatever you have on the bottom part, it takes that, that look. It does take a texture. You can't see it on this one really, but there's a texture here because this is what was on the build plate. Um, there has been some build plates that I've been wanting. Some of them have a nice slick, um, a slick look. Some of them have a nice, really cool thingy. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not asking him to do that. He's got, he's got his printer. He's got his goals. Still not quite sure why he hasn't done it yet, but... But yeah. Um, but no, they've got some nice uh, print beds that give you some really killer looks. I'm just like, oh man. I think I also have them on the wish list.
Don't tempt me. Do not tempt me. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I would enjoy having a bigger printer, but those cost money. <laughs> That was actually one of the reasons why I was just like, oh man, I would love to do the Redeemer Prime from uh, Warframe. This printer cannot take anything much bigger than this Lex Prime, and this Lex Prime is 25 centimeters. And that was diagonal. 25 centimeters. Rounded up 10 inches. And it was diagonal, barely fit. So. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. No, I've been I've been waiting to see what Orion's gonna do because it's like he got the printer and I'm like, oh man, what is he gonna make? And then just nothing. You know, we we'd be like really weird 3D printing nerd buddies. So I got my supply. I mean, we can try to kill the EVG, see what see what it's like. Yeah, let's go get this gather nodes. I will say one thing though, going back to the whole entire um, Xbox 360 Connect. OG, the OG Connect from the, the 360. If you have one that you're not using, you could probably sell it on eBay for a decent amount of money. Or you can use it for projects. Because the thing about the Connect is that it actually has a distance. There's that's why there's two, there's two things on it. It measures distance. Um, I remember when I was learning how to do some coding and we got a hold of the SDK for it and no joke, you could have this 360 right up here, right up here, and you can have your hands down below and it is tracking and it will render your hands in three dimensional space. No, nothing extra. Um, I know a lot of people who do VTubing um, I don't know if it's three dimensional or the two dimensional. I'm not quite sure, but I have seen a lot of people who do that stuff. Um, some of them use a 360 camera connect because it has everything that you need. It, tr it can track you. I mean, if you think about it, the connect is supposed to be for games that are tracking your motions. That's why you can like swing a bat or an ax or something like that. And it tracks it. So, the more you know. Well, at some point in time, I should try to get the cat mandatory. I'm pretty sure I got it before, and I just don't have it. I don't know what is up with that. So. I don't have a cat member, sorry. I'm sad about that. I'm gonna go see what it is. Like, I have a picture. I have a picture of me there. I don't know, maybe I just didn't grab it, which is kind of silly, but. So it's like right here I need to go to.
That's so hard to see it. It's like a ledge right here. I mean, I got nothing else to do until reset. Let's go, let's go try to get it. Nobody else is going to be bothering me. This is our area, so. Even if I turn no. No. I'm gonna drink again. Is I feel committed at this point. That's upwards. Oh. Yeah. It's right there. Unless they changed it, but I'm pretty sure they didn't. Seems already at 10%. It's awesome. Also, you can't glide, so that's a thing. Alright. So, we need to find the next ledge that I can go to. There's another one that I have to go down. Okay. See the bush, the tree bush thing? That's where I need to get to. Oh shit, okay. Gold and water damage. I can't fucking see because the stupid waterfall. Shit. 
Oh, don't tell me I missed it. Did I miss it? There we go. Ah! Oh. We meet once again. Oh, it's because that's what I got. No, oh, fuck it. Fuck it. See, I have been here. I got the mini ye yellow cat mander. Oh, this shit's wrong. Alright, I just got a cat mander tag because I hate myself, I guess. In regards to that kitty, I mean, you really don't have much to um, go off of now, don't you? Oh, 8 a.m., dude, we're like, we've been going to bed. <laughs> we've been staying up late again. So last night, right? Last night slash this morning, we were watching, we were watching, watching this print, right? And it said 90, it was wrapping up 96% and then it went to 97%, right? And no joke, we hit this, this angle right here, right? And we're like, oh man, it's almost done. It's almost done. And then it just kept going and building. And we're like, what the shit? And then it started making these um, little tabs. Like, you see these here? These little tabs? It's for the, the stuff. But yeah. And then it's like, what the shit? And we were just like, this thing's never going to end. But two hours later, two, it took two hours to print like that much. But we're also doing higher quality, so, like, I'm impressed with this part. Uh, I like this, this filament. Feels good. So from the house, the house flipping that you're talking about, right? Um, aren't those usually the people who are doing a subpar job making it look real shit or making it look pretty, but they do a real shitty job in which you have to basically go and fix it up yourself again? Because I've seen a couple of things on YouTube where people are just like, oh yeah, no, we totally like bought this house, blah, blah, blah. And then they like, they start to like get into a lot of like the, like there seems to be like an issue with like electrical or something or plumbing. And then they find out that the house flipper that did the stuff either did it themselves and they did a really piss poor job. That's why you got electricity issues and plumbing issues. 
Or they hired, you know, contract work. I don't know. I would be real leery about something like that, Kitty. Just my two cents. I don't know shit all about what's going on anymore over there, so. Just something to keep in mind. Glad to see that Harold for Revenant still an awesome support. Some moments, it was a Well, that guy went too deep. <laughs>
Nine minutes, see if we can take this and then call it. Only one that's shooting ponies. I swear to God, I swear to God, no joke. If we somehow revitalize this game in the community with within Discord, within like there's going to have to be some parameters. I will give you guys legendary pony bows. And we'll all just go ponying, pony around. Known as the, as the Pony Squad. Why do we still have this guy on our server? I'm gonna go wait out in the in the lobby. Yeah, no, this thing's trucking. So a little over and out. Yeah, I can see how it's going to be. Like, it's going to be about 10 hours. Okay. Our life was so hard for the baby girl. What? I'm sorry, we're washing your blankets and we have to dry outside. And then we have to defuzz them. I know, that's why we don't have a blanket in here because they got all dirty. No, just after after a while, I just after like two to three weeks, I pick up a blanket and it needs to get washed, and I don't wash them until I have three. Because that's how much can fit in the laundry. Oh my gosh, somebody in Snapchat. Here you go, Kitty. You ready? Vendor a black dye pre searing. Would you beat Gwen with the flute and then eat their flower? Oh my god. Wow.
I did not. I gave her the flu and the flower rookie mistake. I know this is fucking up. It was one, people. Rise up. Yeah, so three blankets and she's only... I mean, I could pull out that fourth blanket, but it's currently buried under other stuff that needs to be folded and put away. <clears throat> Baby steps. So we've got up until May 21st. So we've got like what? 18 days, 18 days left. So a little under three weeks. No. Yeah. A little under three weeks to um, get your fucking astral rewards done. So I got time to get stuff. I mean, I, I've been doing the Ascended Weapon Chests. I got those because I, um, I salvaged them for the uh, parts. I got the Legendary Weapon Starter Kit set number three. Got that one already. Um, debating if I want the Build Storage Expansion or the Build Template Expansion. I'm not quite sure. Probably neither of these, honestly, because I'm not really going crazy with the builds. It's not like Guild Wars 1 where you could save a crap ton of them and then load them up. Maybe this one. But they always have these, so... Each character can unlock up to five additional builds at template tabs. And I've got three. And then this is this is the build thing. It's build template storage, yeah. They made this such a mess. Yeah, I've got five builds on this. I could do like three more. But, I mean, I don't know what I'll be working with at that point, so... So it's that one, or we can do some Mystic Coins and just dump the rest of them on these things. Because I'm not really sold on, uh, these things. And there's a cat tree chair. If you'd be the crazy cat lady. The screams, kitty. Wow, there's a lot of them that I still haven't done yet. Yeah. Four days remaining to get these things done. Yeah. You sit in the chair. I would get into the because um, No Name actually gave me the code for his chair that he got. Because he's like, I'm not going to play this. And if it does, he's not going to use the chair. So he gave it to me. And I have a chair. Oh, 
probably not. I mean, there's cats there. There's cats on the chair. They're, like, sitting, lounging around, being lazy pieces of crap. Because that's cats. I <laughs> got it. <laughs> now I'll show you. Oh, it's not that one. No, oh, I don't have it. I guess I can't do that in here. Anyway. Where they go against? Oh. Set removed. People are sitting there focusing on those ogres and harpies when, like, the true, the true thing is over here. and girls, everything that I'm 
on to say you always want to have multiple people taking out the heartbeat nest because the more people that take out the heartbeat nest, the more that you get that standing for. What is this one doing? See, we should have had it by now. But no. There you go. Jesus. Okay, sure. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Ogres, um, timer should be almost 55 seconds. Fifteen, fourteen. Starting off strong. I didn't get moles, so that's still be an issue, but Blue is already in there. Okay, so not anymore. Green is not up. Green is in there as well. No worries. No invis, no nothing, no coordination. This is great. Okay. Make it easy. Oops. I mean, if they got a voice comms, it's probably going to be a thing, too.
suicide? He didn't look up. Why am I stuck out there? Okay. Shit, it flipped. Oh, damn. I'm stuck in the door. I can't get out. I don't think these guys can hurt me, maybe? I don't know. The scout can't hurt me? Okay. Welcome to the weird ass fucking glitch. Thank God. Jesus. Talk about a weird ass fucking bitch. First time. Okay. Ooh, there's a bonfire. Okay. Oh, shit, might as well just do this. Holy shit. I guess I'm gonna go back in because I bet you anything blue's already on dinner.
You know, blue's down here and green's responding, I think. Oh shit, we got Alden's so early on this up. Green is failing. Okay. Who's green? It's a Madison kind of Okay. They're definitely going to be calling the reinforcements. If you don't watch it, Blue's gonna come up right up behind your butt and squish it between the two of us. I think I lost the time. Oh, green, the green is coming in. Flying back. Clearly, we need to regroup. No more got sushi. I'm already dead, so. Oh, you'll be fine. Coffee. Coffee is your friend. I need to get some coffee, but yeah, coffee is your, your friend. Oh my god. So somebody is asking, no, team chat is asking about, um, somebody had noticed that somebody on our side was able to get an enemy player up by rubbing them. It's, it's a motion that you make trying to get somebody who is bound. But the person that was down was an enemy player. So now people are saying, 
Just give us one night of friendly fire on our team and people are just like, I got lists. We can we have this happen? And all these 50 have gone down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I will play for as long as the night lasts. <laughs> I will take the day off of work for a friendly fire day. I'd crawl through glass and suffer through dial up internet for friendly fire. Jesus Christ. Bunch of bloodthirsty guys on our side. Holy crap. Show a little leg for fun. Yeah. Oh, you are so not getting away, buddy. Okay, maybe he is. Damn. <laughs> Damn, yeah, no, go back in. 25, and I'll probably build like an arrow cart and a ballista. Oh, that sucks.
There you go. Get him. Push him off. Should have put the aircrafts up there a while ago, you guys, but that's okay. Better late than never. Someone's got one hell of a fucking pole. Holy shit. It's coming down. Failing the ship. Oh, we're hitting langs, okay. Let's go the other side. Where's the attic? Jesus Christ. Oh, what? So the green team is coming in from where we were.
That person flew a little too close, I okay. think. Shit, did that server go? People are complaining about the lag and the big fights. Apparently these guys were not here for the days when there was calling. Where you would see like six people, and in reality, 20. Some bullshit numbers like that. Oh, you want to be in the circle and contest? Yeah. Supplies been drained.
Oh. Weird ass people. Which has always been weird. Anyway. Alright. Um Are just trying to like come in behind us to take things. Come on now. He didn't see it. I nope. Nope, it's flipping. And this is why you should have siege built. I'm gonna die. 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 Sucks that the tag wasn't watching that chat. Holy shit, we have a tier two keep. The other ones aren't even tier one.
some shit? Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, they weren't watching. You all got flipped. supply At some point in time, I am going to have to go get some coffee. Oh, sneaky, sneaky peekaboo. Just about me outside. Not too much response at the moment. We need to push again. I think they changed this. I think you can still be on the mount to get the claim. Yep.
Can you refer to? Grab supply up here. This is already at twenty four percent. It's awesome. I don't know why they look these. Oh, darn, there goes Darius. Oh, I can't even. I was yawning so hard I couldn't put the fingers up for the countdown here. <laughs> I think after this tower flips, I will get some coffee. We have instant at the moment. So it's going to take a little bit longer than usual.
Puffy has been ascertained. Protect the nodes, protect the nodes. <clears throat> oh, what? Oh, we definitely got a decent amount of them down. This time, he's good. Oh shit, there's a background player right there! I was gonna go and shut the door on them too, the, the the wall, but that was way too many to do it. And I'm stuck in the fucking wall. Oh, I can still do it. I guess it didn't die, I just got stuck. It's like an idiot I forgot. Don't stand in the middle for the repair.
Get our asses kicked for a little bit because blue and green, nothing's faring well. We're kind of the bullies at the beginning of this match. After a while. There's somebody talking to the neighbor outside so they're triggering you know in case you're wondering what's going on oh that is hot oh shit nope that was a lot Looks like we're pushing them out of the camp at least. Push them back. Go back a little bit. I think we lost the tag up. We're gonna lose our teaser three camp too. Come on, right up, right up, right up, right up, right up. Another push. It was a oh no nah, no nah, bro no nah, bro green woke up So, to the good end. I'm gonna go check out Valoka, possibly build siege. We've got some trebs, a cannon, 
Okay, I don't know. We're we're having to do too much reaction right now. That car right there. Don't shoot them off like the ants they are. <clears throat> Well, I saved Anne's. We'll head over to Mendon and see if we can save that. What we got going on? Okay. Yeah, they stopped having pushers on their side, so of course they're going to be coming off here. It makes sense, right? You're not playing defense, you go offense. Of course. You know, they probably have been trapping its keep for a bit. Yeah. 
Yep. You gonna do from the Vista Hill? Let's move down this side for sure. Hands. Trying to figure out who it was that was doing that to the gate. overall Oof. good fights all around tonight I mean not so much in our home borderline but So we'll leave the catapults here.
in the middle of Down. <clears throat> sucks. Look at them go. Oh, they look so good. Season. Not the blue one over the green. Supply? Bro.
Oh no, man, Blue is kicking our ass on. Psst. On this, holy shit. Wonder. Yeah, they do. Oh, bad north. Ah, oh, there he spawned fast. Damn. The shit. What the fuck is that? I'm going to flip my bees. First, we got the right idea. Or not. Yeah. 
I'm going after the champion. Goes. I'm going to destroy them all so that the enemy cannot come in and take those more quick fishes. And these are models. That's a good person. That's a good person. Look at this. I can see this we're running. Okay. Time for the nodes. Oh, should have waited to that party. No, no. Putting back, and I'm gonna give them the bag on that.
33 percent i think we've got we've got something already done on that bit there which is awesome Oh man, okay. Oh shit. Yeah, so those are blues. Blues keep, okay. Is a group on comms, and so.
Okay. Honestly, we could probably take that, but... Oh my god. I need to sleep. <laughs> I need to sleep. Nice, a bunch of holes. I'm so funny they got a burn. I think it was over by that. I'm waiting for the reinforcements for us. Some more numbers to get. So get here, and then we can go in. Oh, man. Oh, I hate the fact that we put that there. What a fun. Oh, 
They're coming down. Stand your ground. Who are we fighting dirty this time? Okay. I like it. I like it. Not only Castle Lord, but also to help in the CC for the rest of the enemies that are in here. So. So basically, Charlie. Nope, nope, out of that. Oh, come on, come on. Eight percent. No, 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 no. We got him down. Ah! Oh, man. Get the ring up, though. Bring us all up. Oh, I get back just in time to die again. Nice. Got that. I don't see the tag pulling. I'll do, do the, the wrist flex.
I think green went and chased blue out. Okay, so those are done. So one, two, three, four. I have four objects that need to get printed, right? One is completely done. So it looks like there's a second set that's going to be almost done, probably by the end of the stream, and then, and then, yeah, it's going to take some time. There's one that's going to take some time. Good nodes while we wait. You gotta wait for two minutes. The NPCs up. Yeah. I've done. Shut up, ponies.
it'll flip. Whoa! Right in the face. Oh, that auger's just got that was her name. It's like one. I don't know. Kind of. Oh, it's a little Nope, nope, I'm in here. I am in here. I am. I am prepared to die. Yeah, it took you a while there. And you got rainbow ponied. Oh my god, I got him. Worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. What kind of sandwiches did you make? Honestly, Kitty, I'm living my troll years right now, so if you came to play the game, I would give you some trolly weapons, including the pony bow. But you'd have to play the game with me. That's the thing. Sounds good. We're just, we're not pushing. We are not, why are they all back here? Push you guys. Sounds good. Dude, that sounds so good.
Bro, you were gone for like an hour. It took you that long to make those? I'm sorry, no questions if I'm not making them. Go, come on. Everybody's pushing in. And we fucking lost it. Had that we have their numbers, if not like we're real close in numbers. Should not have lost that. Fuck is bunny bro. Yeah, I have to start um I have to do uh, start red loafs tonight. Why does that not surprise me? Ooh, it's a little hot there. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I'm getting pushed. Oh, that was bad. I recall those gourmet sandwiches, but it's... 
variety. Oh shit! They turned, they turned. Oh, these guys are pretty tight knit. To go to finish, I think, the movie stream. Please. You don't see him, but. Still think the most interesting thing I've ever come across was sandwiches. Just take your basic ham, cheese, lettuce, tomato, mayo, potato chips. It's different. Of course, you gotta put the potato chips in where the mayo goes so that they kind of absorb some of the, the, the soft, liquidy parts. You just got that same gourmet. Same. Same potato chips. Same potato chips are, are, gourmet, are not a gourmet sandwich or what? Psst. Not legit though. Potato chips and sandwiches. You just take them in like a side thing and then you just open it up and then oh. how it goes. I keep waiting for the tomatoes to go on sale like really really on sale for um because i want to make ketchup But yeah, no, I want to make, I want to make ketchup and then I found out on how to make barbecue sauce. So if I can do the big batch of ketchup, which I did, and it was actually really good. I'm impressed that it came out so well. I have to do better blending though. And, um, we found out that I can take half of it and turn it into barbecue. Yeah. But, um, 
Oh, Jesus. Nah, abandon ship on this. They can quickly flip hang them. We don't have enough to fight that, I don't think, so. At least they got bored of that. Well, he's got, these guys are literally just farming. supply. But yeah, so that's one thing I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to do pickles again. But not until we get some other things taken care of. Like our fridge is still needs to be looked at. Because right now our freezer is acting like a refrigerator. And the refrigerator is acting like somewhat chill. And then I tried doing like a sweet onion sauce. It, it, didn't, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't with sweet onion sauce. I don't know what I did wrong with that recipe. Maybe it was just a shitty recipe. I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't want sweet barbecue. That's the thing. Like barbecue has like a already a slight sweet, but I'm more into like the oh no, like the smoky kind of burned flavor. If that makes any sense. Yeah, pretty sure we can find some.
Yeah! Crazy one to build that. I do know that the curry that we picked up is pretty legit. It's nice. Oh, that sounds like a bad idea. That sounds like a real bad idea. I've heard that liquid smoke from so many different people. Like, do not overdo it. Alright, check out the yak though. I also want to make that salsa again. Um, I mean, it's not exactly like the casero that we get that's like in a small little can or a jar. It's got a different flavor profile, but it's like, it's like it, but at the same time, it's not like it. Similar yet different. But I would like to make more of that too. There's, there's a bunch of stuff that I want to make, but right now, like, the prices of things is ungodly stupid. I mean, thankfully some of it's starting to come down, right? But... On this past week, Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursdays, they have a sale at the, um, supermarket for things. Usually some plants, vegetables, not plants, vegetables and fruits are usually there, right? Um, just, you know, depends on whatever their stock is, I guess. Um, but the tomatoes were at either 19 or 26 pesos a kilo, which is not bad, but I'm not going to buy them until they're like 9 or 10 pesos a kilo, preferably 9. Because usually that means that they have way too much, and B, the tomatoes are kind of ugly. And I want to be honest, when it's going to be turned into ketchup or something like that, who the hell is going to look at them? Ugly tomatoes are perfect for ketchup. It's just like ugly bananas are perfect for banana bread. The more spots and the brown, more brown <laughs> patches, the better, because that means it's more sweet. But... That's not true for apples. Do not want that for apples. Not for... Not for, um... Apple butter or anything like that because... Usually they start to... They, they, they get a little dry and they kind of taste a little crappy, so... At least that's been my experience thus far. Also onions, if you have, if you have some ugly onions, dehydrate them, get onion powder. You'd be amazed at how good they taste. Also cheaper. So you get like that nice fresh flavor, right? And then you can make variety, so you get a little bit, if you want like a little more sweet onion, onion powder, just get some sweet onions, dehydrate them, slice them up, slap them in the coffee grinder, because that's, I mean, that's good, to do, but slap them in the coffee grinder. <laughs> One lot. But 
but you can get white onion, yellow onion, sweet onion. We don't really have sweet onions here. Um, I mean, you're pretty sure you can find them somewhere, but not at our local supermarket. Um, green onion. Oh God, we do a lot of green onions in this house. So if they start to get a little kind of crappy looking, I just toss them in the freezer for a later dehydration date. Red onion. I would love to get some red onion and try out to see what that changes flavor wise. Probably not much because in the end you're dehydrating it and you're using it for seasoning. So, I did make my own Italian seasoning at one point, but right now I'm having a struggle with keeping outdoor plants alive. It sounds really bad, but my mint plants, after three years, maybe four years, it died. The heat outside is god awful right now, and I didn't realize they were suffering so much. I can't bring it back. They're gone. Rosemary, I think, is starting to struggle too, and the lavender. The lavender is fine. The lavender seems to be doing okay, but I had to bring the fig tree in because that thing was starting to look a little sad. So I don't know. We might have to bring the other two in, but. Rescued another snake plant last night. Same area where the other one was uh, uprooted and just left to dry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the herbs in the grocery stores. I want to be honest. Don't buy herbs in the grocery stores. Especially, oh, I mean, they don't really have them here in Mexico, but in the USA, don't do it. If you want legitimate good plants, either get it from somebody who has like background or knowledge of what the fuck they're doing, or go to a nursery. Like I wouldn't even get them at Home Depot or Lowe's. Not even Walmart, man. Like I would not. yeah but in all honesty if you're going to be doing plants um you should always always check to see how things are going like i know the narcissus that i rescued years ago that thing i need to i need to depox it space it out and then replant it because it's growing more and more bundles and from what i understand the narcissus it's like little tubules or nodules underground or under the, underneath the dirt so you have to split them and separate them i haven't done that ever since i rescued it so i need to do that um i know that the uh the parlor palm that vic's mom had we need to depot that spread the roots out put it back in because it's been some time like, it's good. It's, I mean, imagine if, you know, you were just stuck inside this little container for years upon years on end, and you don't get, you know, and your roots to the kind of get like this. I mean, you're going to have to space them out. you got to revitalize them a little bit. Yeah. I haven't gotten any plants from Lowe's. Not Lowe's, um, Home Depot from here. Mostly because Vic won't let me. But uh, <laughs> also they're kind of expensive. But they do have, oh shit. They do have orchids. And every once in a while they have some that go on sale, but they're still kind of expensive for us. I'm just like, oh man, I would love to. The equivalency is like six or seven dollars. And that's the other thing. So I have learned ever since, you know, getting into the, the whole entire plant, the plant parent business thingy, 
you get a new plant, you isolate that shit. You keep that outside for and away from other plants for like at least a week. But you know what I haven't killed? The avocados. Not killed the avocados yet. In fact, I have the fourth one. It's got a decent root system that's going on, so I'm gonna give that to his his aunt at some point in time. We, I'm currently fighting, I don't know what they are. They're like fluffy white parasites, like little fluffy white mites. And this isn't the first time that I've dealt with them. The first time I dealt with them, I tried the whole entire like, oh, you know, soap and water mixture. Uh -uh, if anything, that thing, that idea killed the plant. But what I have noticed is that if you just put water in a spray bottle, put it on the stream, and you just get right up against that bug, just psh, psh, is dead. You kill the bug. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I don't, I don't want to try that. I'm, I'm killing, I'm doing well with the, with the water spray. Um, in fact. I'm, I'm almost for sure that I'm getting them because right now they're at the base. I need to get them on the leaves and it's a parlor palm. So lots of, what are they called? Frongs for leaves or something like that. Anyway, so I'm going to have to take it outside tomorrow down below so I don't get it on the citronella. And I'm just going to have to soak those leaves. And the reason why I know that this worked is because it actually went to one of the avocado trees that I'm growing. And I stopped it dead in the tracks on that one, which is hosing him down with water. Just blasting the shit out of him. So. It's a lot of work. I'm not quite sure where these things came from either. I'm thinking that they came in from outside with the windows open. The only reason why I haven't done any plant repotting is I need dirt. <laughs> I've been looking at places that have them and it's gonna cost like Ten, fifteen dollars for like a big, big bag of them. Baby steps, I know. Baby steps. I think I've got this one, right? Fifteen minutes. Let's do it. But on top of everything else that I've been working on, this is, I have to dedicate time, allocate time for things. Maybe where you guys are. You yeah, know, we don't, we don't have that issue. Like, seriously. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Our bags of dirt are inside. Our bags of dirt are inside buildings. They have the dirt outside? Bro, it's been too long. That is so weird. Okay.
You know, all of Home Depot has it inside. Soriana has it inside. Ace Hardware has it inside. Oh yeah, no, I can see why that would, yeah, no, that would harbor a bunch of stuff. No, the dirt that we get, it's, it's black dirt, so that's what it's called, Tierra Negra. Um, and it's great. I do need to, probably when I start doing all of the, the repotting, um, I'm going to have to put in some things like calcium and some stuff just because you're supposed to. Oh. oh, yeah, I mean, it's still outdoors, though. I still have to figure out where I'm going to put the snake plants. <laughs> so I rescued, like, months ago, I rescued a snake plant. We have, um... That way. It's, uh, like, it's a, it's a, it's a street, right? Two-way street, just one, two, right? And, um... They, like... Like, last year, or maybe the year before, they tried to turn like a public area into a more aesthetically pleasing that's actually been happening a lot here because of the plaza that got built they've been trying to you know make the area look more visually appealing so you want to stay and shop more so props to them but the uh the small little area that they did i have to give them a for effort but they dug a small hole and put rocks in it and then they put water in it but it got gross real fast because they didn't do like they didn't put a liner in there which no there's nothing wrong with that but you literally they literally did not do anything else to help purify um usually from if you're doing like a like a pondy thing like that you should put some plants that are also in the water to help the water stay clean right and aerate it yeah no they didn't so that that idea died but the remnants of it is a nice lavender bush that's over there and a bunch of snake plants well the snake plants people have been uprooting them because they get ugly looking and if that is ever the case and if you ever see snake plants that are like that and if they look ugly pick them up take them home rinse them off real good with you know just plain old water and then um stick them in water i actually have a nice healthy offshoot that came off of that so i also did the, the propagation and i'm starting to get roots on that too so it works i wanted to stick snake plants in the bathroom um because they do all right with like low lighting i mean it's not the greatest for them I mean, I'm probably going to still stick them outside for, you know, a little bit once a week. But, um, there's enough light that gets in the bathroom for it. So also, they, apparently they really like damp, or not exactly damp. Somewhere that you take a shower from. Moisture in the air. So, apparently, that, I mean, that's what I want to do. The only plant that I have yet to successfully actually get to work is a spider plants. There's a shit ton of spider plants in this area. Um, the plaza's got a bunch of them. And spider plants have like little babies that they push off, right? I'm not doing it right. I've tried three times. From what I understood, you have them dangling on top of the water for a little bit while they get a root system and then you stick them in dirt and i'm not i'm not succeeding with this they end up getting really moldy and gross and falling apart and yeah i can't get it to work 
No, I haven't, because I kept thinking, like, no, no, it'll work, it'll work. I mean, by the time I remember to ask her, like, they've already died, so. Did she get any of that, like, propagated off? Because that's the problem that I'm having. Because I wanted to stick them um, in Vic's room. Ah, shit. Run! Okay. I think I just have to stick him in dirt. Wow. I really wanted to stick one or two in Vic's room. I have one in here that I need to uh, put in a bigger pot. It's uh, that purple zebra plant thing. Yeah, maybe. Not tonight, though. I have um, the video to make for tomorrow and the uh, work on eight guides that's going to be due out for the next week. And I have to get the bread running and I have to watch this thing and just, yeah. And I forgot that I need to start power rolled up again. So I drowned my aloe plants again, the second one. I need to. I need to organize the shelf that's got these succulents and stick it over there so that I don't accidentally water it too much. That's my issue, is that I have it... I have like categories of plants, right? Like I have the ones that you just kind of set it and forget it. Once a month you go dump some water and they're happy. Well, an aloe plant is actually one of those things, but I always have it with the ones that are super thirsty all the time. So, yeah, you can imagine how that goes. I even drowned, I even drowned the little offshoot, man. Doing plant stuff is kind of hard at times, especially when you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk on Sunday. But yeah, that needs to be replanted because it's like in something about the size of a coffee cup and it's just like... It needs to spread. I also wanted to get a small little plant growth going so that I can exchange with the, the neighbor lady that lives across the way downstairs. Because she's got a, what is it called? A, a, a porthos? A pothos plant? And I was going to exchange on my little purple zebra ones for one of those things. I like plants. They make me happy. Oh, I know. I... Your dogs love to chime in about everybody's business. No, I know. And then when one starts to go, the other ones go. Wait, are you taking all three? Cause I know you got the one shit stir. If you take that one, like the and if you take the other two, they're they're just it's gonna be nonstop. Oh, okay. 
Oh, mama stain. Oh. That makes more sense. Knock, knock. Oh man, we're at forty nine percent at four hours and six minutes. Oh man, I hope to God that it's not as bad as you think it's going to be. need and um, I think this weekend it's gonna be busy I'm gonna try to catch up on some things try to get ahead of other things for how long it's gonna go for I did manage to get some Warframe stuff done last night. 
I'm almost at the point of doing the MR30 test. Just might reach that goal this year. Just maybe. I'm gonna get to be one of the cool kids in the game. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I got pulled. Hmm. All right, fifty percent. So in eight hours and twenty-two. Well, total, okay, so another four hours and eleven minutes. Which is going to be, you know, round that up to 11 o'clock, 12, and then the 2 to 3. 3 o'clock in the morning, which would be 2. Oh, that's good. Seems we're not rendering. Well, hopefully you can join us soon on Pal World of Kitty. I know you pals miss you. If it makes me feel any better, the um, I still have those stats there, so like they're not starving to death because I just can't be bothered to make adjustments right now. <laughs> Down because I have a lot of inventory. But yeah, um, I have found some places that we can get. It would get sulfur. I'm at the point where I switched over to guns. So we're needing sulfur and quartz. Well, the quartz is for upgrades, but the sulfur is jeez. Found a couple places to mine it.
Well, I'm actually going to end it there because like things are actually starting to wind down. And I need to get that bread started and it's kind of loud. So we're going to end it here. All right, boys and girls and everything that's in between. That is it for me this evening. Um, we've got some, some things to talk about real quick. Um, if, okay, we'll do the first things first. Vampire the Masquerade's not this weekend. It's Arma 3 session tomorrow for this weekend. So if you are a part of that in the community, we're going on with that. Um, we did switch over to a new map and we are running it off of a server that Hellraiser is fronting. So as of what I understand, you can log in whenever you want and you can play. Um, the way that we have it set up is that when nobody is online, missions are not going from the enemies. So that means that we can't lose our objectives when we're not there. Um, there's that. Um, I have a video that's going to be coming out tomorrow. Something that's in regards to Gilders too. I have to see what it is, which one I'm translating to a video. Um, We've got some updates for, wow, my voice just cracked. Uh, what was it? May 21st is the next expand or DLC, not, content drop for this DLC, Secrets of the Obscure for Guild Wars 2. Um, and then I learned that we have the fifth expansion slated for later this year, which is, that's fucking cool. So, I don't know. Like, um, Warframe, we've got stuff coming around, I think it's the 18th of May. So, like, we got stuff coming in this month when we the two games that I like to play a lot. Um, keeping you guys updated on the Lex Prime that I'm printing. So we got this done yesterday. These are going to be done at like three o'clock in the morning. And then I've got like another two beds of stuff to probably print. So probably this weekend. So if you are interested in that stuff, I'm just trying to share the process in Discord underneath the crafting corner for that. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Lots of chatting about random stuff tonight. But I mean, it's casual. It's a casual Friday, so. All right, you guys have been awesome. I will see you, not tomorrow. I will see you Tuesday. So then take care, stay safe. And I know I need to fix this outro. I need to. That's on the to-do list. I know, Kitty. I know whoever else is going to say, what the shit? I know. I know. I need to put that somewhere else. But I also need to redo stuff. So, I know. I know. Every single time I see it, it looks like crap. I know. That's because I have it hosted on Stream Elements, and it's pulling from Stream Elements, when I need to have it hosted somewhere permanently on the desktop. Like on my PC. I haven't done it yet. I know. I need to do it. I know. Okay, bye-bye. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>